Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anurag and welcome to my channel. So in this channel what I do is I take medical topics and I break them down in simplistic ways as possible. Okay, this is also your place for motivation and positivity. So if you are kind of that person who likes all of these kind of videos, then yeah, make sure you are subscribed. And for today's video, well, I don't know if I've told you, but I am an avid movie lover. All right, and especially I love movies from Quentin Tarantino and Pulp Fiction is one of my favorites. So before all of this, a spoiler alert, if you've not watched the movie, then spoiler alert, okay? So do watch the movie first and then come back. Today, I'm going to break down the famous overdose scene from Pulp Fiction where Mia Wallace, played by Uma Thurman, you know, she overdoses on some kind of uh, drug and then John Travolta, uh, who plays Vincent Vega, takes her to the... Uh, drug dealer's home and in the turn of events they revive her by yeah, you know all of that right so i'll be telling you about whether this thing happens in real life or not you know whether my life as a doctor is that very you know amazing and full of adventure or not and yeah so in this video i'll be talking about pop fiction's overdose scene and its medical accuracy or inaccuracy classified and if you stick around till the end of the video i'll also give you a fun fact about how this a scene was actually shot. With that, let's get right into the video. All right, a bit of a background is uh, Uma Thurman, uh, Mia Wallace, I think she snorts some kind of a drug, I think it's heroin, and she collapses, and after that, she is taken by uh, Vincent Vega to the dealer's house, and this scene then begins. My way. Pig. Give her the shot. Come on. Okay. Look, well, I'm okay, I'm so this. right off the front, what I see is that uh, she's kind of lying down and it looks like she's either having a cardiac arrest or she's in a sudden coma. Right? Uh, cardiac arrest is the abrupt loss of heart function in a person who may or may not have been diagnosed with a heart disease. And coma, well, you know, you know what a coma is, right? Okay, so that happens, and after that, well, let's see. While I'm doing this, you take off her shirt and find her heart. That'll be exact. Yeah, it's gonna be exact exactly exactly Okay, so that's the adrenaline tree, I suppose. Okay, okay, adrenaline is what we doctors call a catecholamine. Okay, it is something that, depending on the dose, uh, it can increase your heart rate, dilate your blood vessels, and can also be used in emergencies. Uh, relating to allergies, right? So it's pretty surprising that they have uh, an adrenaline cardiac tray in their home, basically. The exact number of shot in the heart. So I guess it's got to be exact. I don't know exactly where her heart is. I mean, I think it's right here. That's it. This it? <laughs> yeah. You know, John Travolta being able to find the heart by counting the ribs. That's pretty wild. I will tell you that, but maybe in one of these uh, Tarantino movies, which I suppose that you know that you know, many of these movies are connected, so maybe uh, Vincent Vega had gone to a medical school, who knows, but it's a Quentin Tarantino movie, so yeah, who, who am I to judge, <laughs> right? Alright, what I need is a big fat magic marker. You got it? What? A magic marker! <laughs> okay, so he's going to use a magic, magic marker. marker to probably, you know, mark her heart somewhere. Whoa, 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 that's a really, really long that's needle, right you know. Uh, I don't know, what is, is it like six inches or something? Okay, so that would easily scare a doctor as well, all right? So that's a pretty big needle, to be honest. All right, please hurry up, man. Okay, hurry up. Here, I'll tell you what to do. No, 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 man, man, I ain't give, you, you, you're gonna give it a shot. Well, you're gonna give it a shot. I ain't giving no, her the shot. I ain't giving her the shot. I've never done this yeah, before. I ain't never done it before either, all right? I ain't starting now. Look, you brought her here, and that means that you're gonna give her the shot. Okay, so I guess that they're trying to revive her, assuming that her heart has stopped. Okay, so uh, if she actually has had a cardiac arrest, then the preferred route of uh, adrenaline or epinephrine in this case uh, would be into a vein or into a bone. Right, which is called an intraosseous root. If you can't find any veins, those veins are not accessible, then you can directly inject drugs into, medical drugs that is, into uh, the bone. Right, so that is possible, but uh, this kind of uh, an approach, I don't think it's very, very safe. And doctors in the 1950s, maybe they used to do it, but right now, you know, it's not practiced. 
and this should have already been accompanied with chest compressions <laughs> okay uh, just like dr mike says chest compressions chest compressions chest compressions all right uh, the chest compressions will then move the drug through the circulatory system and into the heart so this scene is definitely an over exaggeration give it a shot give it here yeah that's the marker probably all right, all right tell me what to do okay uh you're giving her an injection of adrenaline mm -hmm. straight to her heart, but she's got a breastplate. Okay, so in this case, when he says that she has got a breastplate, that is referring to the sternum. There's a bone that's in front of the heart, and it prevents the heart from any kind of injuries. So. Okay, pierce through that. So what you got to do is you got to bring the needle down in a stabbing motion. I, I gotta, I, I gotta stab her three times. No, you don't gotta stab her three times. You gotta stab her once. It's gotta be hard <laughs> enough to get through her breastplate into her heart. All right. all right, and then once you do that, you pr press down on the, the plunger. Okay, then what's ha then what happened? part where he mentions that you have to go through the breastplate that is not true actually uh, in the older days when doctors did use to give an intracardiac injection it would have been from a totally different kind of a route and not directly in this approach so this is a medically inaccurate I'm curious about that myself it's a joke man am I gonna kill her I mean no, 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 no. she's supposed to come out of it like that it's all right count to three all right ready one whoa that's a pretty big needle. <laughs> Two. Two. What? Is this just me or you know, this actress seems like Kalki Kekla? Okay, so if, if you think the same, then let me know in the comments down below if you think she looks like Kalki Kekla. Okay, so back in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, when did Vincent uh, press down on the plunger? Plus, the way she woke up, <laughs> it is highly unlikely that uh, Mia Wallace would just wake up instantly. You know, you know. I, I tell you, this is straight out of Hollywood. This is straight out of a Quentin Tarantino movie. Doesn't happen in real life. I, I wish my life was, you know, this thrilling as a doctor. I, I would just plunge needles into the hearts of patients and boom, you know, <laughs> revive them all of a sudden. I, I wish my life was that dramatic, but. This, this isn't the case, okay? So now let's get into a little bit of uh, technical kind of things, all right? Don't, don't worry, I, I'll explain it to you in simple terms, I suppose. Okay, so the practice of giving injection into the heart, known as intracardiac injection, where it was uh, quite famous in the 1800s, but the practice, you know, it slowly got down because doctors thought that you were giving an injection into uh, an organ which is not functioning all right so many studies were done and they concluded that instead of giving uh, injection directly into the heart well it is as efficacious to give it uh, from an IV line or directly into the bone as I mentioned earlier all right so this practice is not done anymore and here are my two cents about the scene medically okay number one is that if she had been suffering from some kind of a stupor uh, with the combination of uh, heroin and alcohol, then the pain from the injection would have probably done the job. So yeah, the pain part is there, but in this case, well, Vincent Vega doing more harm than good. The probability is around 99%, I would say. So yeah, that's that. Number two is that if she had been suffering from a heroin overdose, then the exact antidote would have been a drug called naloxone. Right? You might have seen it in other movies and series where you know some kind of a patient takes a drug, uh, overdoses, and the medics they come and they spray some kind of spray into their uh, nostrils and things like that. Right? So this drug is an antidote for heroin overdose. So adrenaline, not the choice of drug in this particular case. If her diagnosis was actually a heroin overdose. Number three is that had Mia Wallace been suffering from some kind of a cardiac rhythm disorder and by a rhythm disorder I mean a normal person's heart should go lub dub lub dub right anything away from that manner away from that rhythm is a rhythm disorder so had she been suffering from that she would definitely have benefited from uh, an ACD automatic cardiac defibrillator you know the kind of devices that are there at airports and arenas which is basically given like a shock to the patient right you might have seen it in the movies as well so that would have helped but if her diagnosis was something called a ventricular fibrillation then yeah by the time she was taken from uh 
the place of overdose to the drug dealer's house, I don't think Mia Wallace would have made it. So time for some final thoughts. Movie rating according to Rotten Tomatoes is over 90% and IMDb is around 8.9 as of this video's release date, but medical practicality meter? Uh, obviously the scene was impractical, uh, what was I even thinking, <laughs> right? Uh, I, I'd give it one stethoscope out of five if I had to rate it among five stethoscopes. So yeah, that's about it. But you know, it's a Quentin Tarantino movie and a fun fact, about this scene is that I was kind of skeptical about how were they able to stick a needle in that accurate fashion, right? So Quentin Tarantino, the genius that he is, he asked uh, John Travolta to remove the needle and the scene was then later put in reverse. Alright, so that was the fun fact which I mentioned earlier. And yeah, with that, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there's any other kind of scenes that you would want me to you know, break down. I would love that. Uh, to let you know, while I was making this video, I did a lot of Google searches and I came across a website called theanesthesiaconsultant.com. All right, so it's curated by Dr. Richard Novak, who's an amazing anesthesiologist and uh, there was a bit of content over there as well, which I used as reference for this video, all right? So Dr. Richard was kind enough to you know, let me go forward with this video and I thank him a lot with this video. If you're a doctor who's watching and you're interested in anesthesiology, then yeah, you should definitely check the anesthesiaconsultant.com out, all right? So yeah, yeah, with that said, I hope that you enjoyed the video and for more content just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon to stay notified with all the updates whenever I upload. Okay, so with that said, this is Dr. Onurag signing off with a promise to meet you yet again with yet another video. And yeah, until then, you stay happy, stay positive, and as always, stay strong.